So welcome back, Patreon members. And um, I'm doing this series. I'm going to start, I'm going to call it Anatomy of a Play. And um, I kind of started this series when I first started doing this. So back, even when Flacco was still our quarterback, my first episode of Anatomy of a Play. And it was, uh, uh, I think we ran some kind of power play. Delance, Delance Turner was the running back. It was from a preseason game. And um, my, my vocals are a little bit too loud. Let me turn this down. I'm going to blow your speakers out with my voice. One second. Mic check. Mike, there we go. So, uh, and Delance Turner was the, the running back. So, that, you know, I'm going to transition that onto Patreon. And so, this episode of Anatomy of a Play, we're going to work on, or we're going to talk about Lamar's touchdown from Sunday. So, I'm going to just run through it, let it play through, and then I'll come back and do my explaining. And again, I appreciate you Patreon uh, subs for, for doing what you do, man. I can't express to you enough how much I really appreciate it and how much I appreciate you guys supporting me. And I'm going to keep doing this and keep trying to make you guys proud. But there's the play from the All-22 angle. Yeah, let's look at it from the back. And the back is where you're going to get the biggest breakdown from. As Vach calls it, the, the cartel view. So now let's get into my talking. It's um second and no, it's third and four, second quarter on the fifty yard line. I bring a guy in motion. So now, and I'm just gonna talk about it right here, but I'll I'll draw it up a little bit from the back view because it's easier to see. But we are gonna end up reading this guy right here. That's who, that's who the read man is. We're going to end up reading him. He's going to be the, the trigger for all the reads and whatnot. He's the trigger for all the reads. And I, it, I'm just going to explain it from the back better. Because it it's, it's easier to do from the back. And you can get more understanding of what we're talking about. First explosive for Lamar on the ground this season. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, bring him in the backfield. So now, power read. Power read. This is the read guy. So on normal power, you'd have an H-back right You'd have an H-back right here or a tight end right here. And they block out on this guy. And then this guy would wrap around to there. That's what you normally would have. This is not that. So what you're going to have here is you're still going to get Bozeman pulling. To wrap to this guy, you're going to get a down block here. She'll get a double team out of these two to that backside linebacker. Uh, Orlando should stab and hinge. We call it stab and hinge just to make sure this guy don't don't push that gap and, you know, get up in there. So we got everybody that's in the box accounted for. He's read by Lamar. This guy's read by Lamar. The puller gets him. He get, He's getting double teamed by the tackle and the guard. Uh, he should get a down block by the center. Stab and hinge uh, by Orlando. Now, I keep wanting to say stand up, but Stanley didn't play. So watch, watch Lamar's eyes. As soon as the ball, as soon as he gets the ball in his hand, his eyes gonna go instantly go to this dude. Look, eyes right there on him. His eyes are right there, locked in on him. Now, so if this dude squeezes, he's supposed to give it, and then let um, Dobbins outrun him. All right, if he runs up the field or does anything funky, he's supposed to, you know, shuffle with Dobbins, keep it, and then hit it up there. So let me find one extra frame to get my stuff off. So for some strange reason, he just tries to take out the puller. I don't know why. Bolton does a great job of avoiding him. And when Lamar sees this dude ain't really, you know, paying attention to either one of them, his focus is on the puller, he just keeps it. He just keeps it. Because Bozeman is going to get this dude. Even though they tried to scrape exchange. And if you don't know what scrape exchange is, let me back it up. Let me back it up something for you. So what scrape exchange means is this dude going to fly in and try to take the, the running back. This dude going to come over the top and try to take the quarterback. That's what scrape exchange means. But let's go live forward. So now with this dude, he in no man's land. He got the old shit look on his face right now. Now, and Bozeman don't have, necessarily have to kick him out because he out to play. He chasing Dobbins. He out the play. So Bozeman just turned up to the next guy. Bozeman clear shot on free safety. He took himself out the play by going too wide. 
Bozeman on the free safety, which really is extra because this is the guy Bozeman really supposed to be blocking right here. But when he gets to the free safety, he's the only one left to make the tackle. Look at this good block by Mark right here. Mark downfield. No block, no rock, buddy. I hit your head on the goalpost. Duvernay is making an effort to get in front of him, but Duvernay originally wasn't blocking, which is not a problem because he was running the guy off. Now he's trying to get him get into play and, you know, get Lamar in. Luckily, Lamar saw him at the last minute. Hey, right, but that's a quick little anatomy of a play, a quick little short. Uh, you're, possibly, you're definitely getting my picks for this Sunday's game, probably Saturday. You'll get that on Patreon, too. You may get another video, depending on what time looks like. But, um, again, I appreciate you guys for, for supporting and subscribing and, and doing what you do, man. This is Coach Evans with Sip the Tally Films, and I, I love you Patreon subs. I'm out. Until next time.